How's it going guys? Sun Shreds here. Uh, the World Championship is over. I am back home and uh, today I had my first training. Uh, did just light stuff, nothing too serious, just some shoulders, some uh, back a little bit, traps, stuff like that. Uh, I feel pretty good. My, my neck is just very tight on one end. I don't know, maybe I'm sleeping wrong or something, but uh, it's it's really bothering me at the moment, but hopefully it gets better. Uh, and there's there's really no time to waste. Uh, train. There are competitions coming up, and uh, today I want to talk about the big one, probably the biggest match uh, of a couple last couple of years. Uh, Devon Larratt versus uh, Denis Tiplenkov. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about why I think Devon. Uh, would or could win this match. So, uh, Devon Larratt lately has been dominating the armistling world. He's number one in 115 kilo class, number one guy uh, with the Levant's injury in super heavyweights as well. We saw how he dominated Hermes. Hermes couldn't get anything going, you know. Uh, Devon just overwhelmed with his hand control and uh, his uh, presence on the table on the setup as well and uh, yeah Hermes looked really really helpless uh, the way Devon cracked his wrist was really impressive because you rarely see that with Hermes usually Hermes is the one wrist dominant arm wrestler but this time Devon was just too much his pronation was good his uh, back pressure was superb. Uh, we saw a little glimpse that inside maybe Devon uh, was not that strong because Hermes was able to pull him back but then again he went outside and, uh, and there was nothing there uh, for Hermes. So why I think Devon could win this match is just because uh, it's Devon. He's been so active lately. He's been pulling a lot. He's in a great shape uh, it seems like Devon has lost like 10 20 years uh, from his table like presence on table he looks like 10 years younger when he pulls he doesn't use he doesn't have to use Kings move anymore uh, he doesn't have to use open top roll there's no under the table stuff he's just composed like back pressure pronation over the top uh armistler very very impressive and uh, just seems getting better and better with uh, every competition and uh, i believe he is getting better which is insane uh at this age you know to be able to progress still in the sport and uh yeah i see this match I see this as a very tough match for both athletes. Uh, Devon will be going into this match as a favorite, I believe, because like he's been uh, more active, uh, he's been dominating uh, last matches. Uh, Dennis, on the other hand, you know, we we don't really know what his level is at. I mean, he easily beats every training partner. He easily beats David Dadikian which is, I'm still very impressive that he can do that. And uh, his shape should be very good and uh, also getting better with every day. But I think Devon will be coming into this match as favorite. So uh, what can Devon do with Dennis? It will be very interesting. Uh, I think Devon will have the hand control, will gain the, the, the pronation because... Dennis doesn't really care about uh, uh, the, the, the wrist control. Uh, his wrist, even if he's holding like this, he can just go to the side. And uh, if the match goes outside and if Devon is able to take the hand, I think he has a good chance of winning. Also, I don't know how good... Uh, Devon's endurance is compared to Dennis because Dennis's endurance 
is also on a very high level and uh, Devon might be uh, might want to finish the match quickly so if he can gain the hand control if he can quickly go to the pad I think uh, Devon has all chances of winning the match um, if the match goes uh, like long like longer long way uh, maybe Dennis can can have something there but right now uh, I see Devon dominating the setup probably uh, dominating the lead up to the to the match uh, we saw that Dennis is not really uh, bothered by the by the how you say uh, mani set up mani manipulations in in their last match with uh, uh, with left arm like six years ago uh, but I think with right arm that one is a different animal and he legitimately can beat him uh, you 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 never can count that one out. Uh, I think he can beat Dennis, and uh, if Dennis beats Devon, I will not be surprised. But uh, I will be surprised if Dennis beats Devon easily. So I don't think it's going to be easy match for either guy. But uh, as I said, hand control will be on Devon's side, and uh, hopefully he can finish the match quickly. Uh, I think that's the path uh, to winning against Dennis and uh, can't wait really. Uh, I'm gonna give my thoughts about uh, what should Dennis do in my next video. So stay tuned guys, stay strong and uh, very exciting times uh, coming up in next few months.